of the woods yet. And of course, this all landed on the 16 year anniversary of Katrina. That's when it made landfall on Sunday as a category four and it continues to move north and west. So right now we have dropped back down to a tropical depression. This will continue to decrease, but it's a slow, uh, slow death here for this storm. So as this continues to move north and west, it continues to dump plenty of rainfall. Why we're kind of in a safe zone here at home. There's a stationary front just to our south and that's keeping us dry and quiet. You can see even from what's still left of tropical depression, Ida, we're just on the fringe of seeing some of those very thin high cirrus clouds. So as you travel further south and east over the next couple of days, you might run into those, but we are not going to see any major effects out of this. As we move this forward with future rainfall, you can see a general about three to six inches of rainfall will continue to get dumped all along the east coast. So not only folks in south central, of course, they got the brunt of it from this catastrophic, uh, what will potentially likely be a historic storm. Everyone as you travel up the east coast are seeing impacts as well. But here at home, we are dry and quiet, not only today, but through this week. We really have a calm and comfortable week and quite a turnaround from the hot and steamy pattern we have had lately. Temperature wise, we were cooler this morning than where we were yesterday morning and yesterday we were cooler than the day before. So a downward slide the last couple of days as we have temperatures now in the upper 50s and lower 60s to start off this morning with our dew points below the 60 degree mark below that muggy mark. That's where we started yesterday, even above the 60 degree mark yesterday. Very sticky and humid. We saw these fall yesterday, putting us in that more comfortable air mass and these will even fall more today. So we're really going to stay a uh, very pleasant throughout today and this week. Winds calm and quiet, almost non-existent this morning, but as you plan out the rest of your Tuesday, they'll stay that way. Very light, mostly out of the northeast today. So as you're getting the kiddos ready for the bus stop, 60 degrees this morning. Might even need a lighter jacket as you head out the door. Can't forget those sunglasses though. 76 at recess, 81 by the time you're coming home on the bus and getting dinner started for the evening. So if anyone is heading out to Lakeshore, really calm day for Lake Michigan, one to two foot waves for the afternoon. Now tonight, give the AC a break. Open up the windows, a beautiful night to do so. We're actually going to fall our temperatures into the lower 50s with mostly clear conditions and continue to keep those dew points very comfortable through the rest of the week. Now I know we were hot and steamy. What about below average temperatures? It kind of sounds pretty good right about now. We're keeping things very seasonable for this time of year this week, but the next 8 to 14 days, Climate Prediction Center continues to keep us in below average temperatures. And right now for the end of August, early September, we should be about 79 degrees for a daytime high. And we're hovering right around there this week. 78 degrees tomorrow, 79 on Thursday, 79 on Friday as well. Now only a minor rain chance on Saturday, and there's still even really low confidence with that. So the holiday weekend looking pretty good so far 76 on Monday.